Hey, welcome back to the channel. Um, I've been dreading this for quite some time now. Um, the D17 diesel needs the brakes on it because it don't have much at all. And I was going to try to run it this year without putting brakes on it, but I decided it's time to put brakes on it. Um, one of the excuses I was giving myself that I didn't have to put brakes on it this year was we used it that one time to pull the meat bird tractor for a few days because of the garden tractor going down the 1920 and I was like man I, I just can't tear it down right now in case that tractor goes down well and then Natalie and I talked about it and we decided we could justify buying another tractor for her to be able to use in case the garden tractor goes down or gives her fits or whatever so she got her a 1948 alice chalmers c been restored beautiful beautiful little piece i'll take you over and show it to you here in a little bit but um so with that i don't have the excuse that this 17 has to be movable runnable so i guess it's good as time as any to tear it down and put brakes on it so you got this will probably be a several series saga uh several several part series saga uh tonight we'll see how far we can get i think we can get one side off uh, that's my goal is to get one side off put back together and then tear the other side down and do it um, But I don't have the rivet Rivet machine to put the linings on the brake. So I'll have to take them to the tractor shop and Do that there. I'll just go ahead and buy buy the brake linings there um, I'm pretty sure last time I talked to them they said they had them in stock so that won't be that big a deal getting brakes or the new lining put on the shoes um but yeah let's check out mama bear's 1948c mama bear what that? what'd you get today got me a tractor do you want to show us What year is your tractor? 1948. How many gears does it have? I don't know. Three. <laughs> uh, Mama Bear is did not grow up on a farm. She, she is a newborn country girl. Uh, she's about three years deep in the country girl life. And she's, she's came a long way from where we started. Um... Six months ago, she would have told me she is not driving that tractor, and the, and we couldn't buy it. Well, now <laughs> she told me to buy a tractor, and she wants to learn how to drive it. Uh, so hopefully, tomorrow is nice weather and we can get on it. Yeah, stay tuned for that video. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a doozer. Uh, All right, I'm back to my chores. Well, while she goes back to work, we're going to gawk and gook. At her little tractor but it's been converted over to alternator which that's cool uh it's got a small zenith carburetor on it i think it's a zenith yeah it's a zenith um fuel shut off battery box been replaced uh we'll shoot some paint on that one of these days and one of the coolest parts about the little guy or little girl Mom bear already told me it's a girl, but it's got electronic ignition keys. So that's huge. But yeah, it's a three speeder. Uh, PTO works. And it, it does have the big or the normal size PTO on it. So that makes it pretty cool. Um,. I'm not real sure what these brackets here are for yet, um, but it's got them on both sides. 
Then if we jump around the other side of the wheel, um, it's got these brackets on both sides. And I think them would be for a belly mower. And I would love to find a belly mower for it. But yeah, we get that, the battery box painted up. Um, on the way home, we did stop and fill it up with few gas. That'll probably be the last time it's ever full of gas. Uh, 12 volt electric start. Um, like I said, it's been converted to electronic ignition. Uh, it's got a new uh, water temperature gauge in it. That does work. Um, I've drove it around a little bit. Um, it runs like a top. Mom and Bear don't want to leave the key in her tractor. So I don't have the key with me right now. Or I would start it and let you guys hear it run. But you could probably find that on a different video. Of watching it run. But yeah. It's, little girl runs great. And it's got the aftermarket step on it. Which me i'm five foot six and these things are about impossible to get on without that so that was a huge plus i really like that when we got over and looked at it well uh, let's check out the toolbox nothing but wires where he put new wiring on it uh, the gentleman we purchased it purchased it from he was an older gentleman um i want to say his name but i'm not going to just for privacy but him and his wife they used to restore tractors and go to all the shows he's got a barn and a half completely full of tractors garden tractors he had push mowers he had an alice chalmer chainsaw uh he had my bucket list tractor 60 80 front wheel assist with a loader um, another thing he had that i've never seen in person was a hillside plow snap coupler uh that was a pretty neat piece uh, but yeah that's enough about mommy bears little c let's go back to the d17 which his name is marty the yeah, little c don't have a name yet but this is marty it's a 19 59 alice chalmers series one d17 diesel and if you've watched my tractor videos before you know that side hood there is not original to the tractor uh but we're getting getting along with it um i kind of started earlier on the, getting this brakes ready i went ahead and took the hydraulic out um so we'll continue to keep on tearing into the hydraulic system or the brake system yeah that's normally what i do is knock my buckets and bolts off uh, i'm hoping you guys can sit right there I'm not real sure where a good place is to put you guys. That's me. But, okay, we'll start with this. The brakes are underneath this cover right here. Um, there will be an adjuster nut right there. That And the two, this spring and a spring in the front, which I think is broken. And then down here is the pivot rod that holds the two halves together sometimes that can be a nightmare to get out but that one moved very good so we got our fingers crossed this going to be easy to just put brakes on but yeah we'll find somewhere for you Thank you. 
that'll probably never happen again to me in my life but i knocked my bolt bucket over and only one other only one bolt fell out on the ground but i was able to capture it okay as you can see hopefully maybe these are your two brake shoes that's that broken spring that's in the front uh, we'll take this nut here off and we still got a breaker rod to unscrew under the step but uh i'm in the process of taking the step off so we can get get down there and get all that cleaned up So that wasn't near as bad as what I thought would be, but right here's the brake rod that goes, that pull. When you step on the brake pedal, that would push back onto the shoe and then the shoe would grab the drum, something like that. But I'll get a cotter pin out of that then hopefully that thing's getting ready to come down too. Hey guys, I'm down to the very last step of taking the brakes apart and getting them out is this pin, which holds the two shoes together in the bottom. When I worked at the tractor shop, I've, I've done a couple of brake jobs on these D17s and this pin i've seen it be an absolute nightmare to get out this one's just unbelievable it's crazy how well it came out so somebody has put brakes in this before and anna seized it up but when they put it back together they done it right and for that i'm very thankful but yeah we're gonna take these Jenny or right channel locks and wiggle the rest of this pin out hopefully because I don't really want to hurt the pin by putting scratch marks on it. And I'm just working out here in my driveway, gravel driveway. So I'm not on a comfortable concrete floor or heated shop. <laughs> look at that. Look, would you look at that? That is just absolutely amazing that that came out like that. That there can be your worst enemy on doing brakes. On a D17, but this side came came out amazing. I couldn't ask for anything better. Uh, so we'll clean that up and throw it in the bucket. Go back together. But we'll make sure we Anna sees it up when we put it back in the hole. Of course, you know my brakes fell down, so I wouldn't go back in. Hey. We just about got this booger out. Okay. I'll set you guys down and then I'll get it out. Mm, 
I know what's holding us. That back spring. Okay. One more thing holding us. Maybe. We'll take it out. It ain't gonna be in our way if we take it out. That was the one good spring, but we'll put new springs in. See the brake linings are wore all the way down to the rivets, starting to get into the rivets, so there wasn't no lining left. But with that right there, I'm gonna go ahead and end you guys right there and we'll stay with keep on keeping on my friends. Stay tuned, we'll get these brakes over to the tractor shop, get new uh lining put on them, and we'll go back together on the left side. Thank you guys for watching.